Hello everyone, this is John Mervin, and today we're gonna learn how to make a large-scale battle scene using Blender's particles. So I was trying to figure out how to actually have pairs of people fighting, and I figured out a little trick to on how to do that. And it's not through the Blender Crowd Simulator, because Blender does have a crowd simulator, but it is super duper basic and can't seem to do much beyond cubes bumping into each other. So we're not gonna do that, and we're gonna do something else and you'll see it right away. Okay, so the first part of this is going to be in a uh, time lapse. I don't actually work this fast. I wish I did, because that would be super cool and productive. Uh, but yeah, this is all time lapsed, because this is very basic information that you could learn anywhere on the internet. Just how to model stuff. You want to make super low poly stuff, because it's going to get pretty crazy. But the thing you really need to pay attention to, if you look, I duplicate this mesh in edit mode. And I do that so that is considered one object. And I'm going to make a basic armature for it and then I'm going to duplicate the armature in edit mode so that is considered one bone system and the reason I'm doing this is because to have pairs of people actually fighting you can't do that with two separate particle systems you can only do it with one and so I'm going to treat this as if it's one object one pair of people I'm gonna treat this as they're fighting so now I'm just gonna get some super basic animations in there. So I'm going to treat it as one solid animation, and the computer considers it one animation, one object, one armature. But whenever it's spread out, it's going to look like a bunch of pairs of people. So now just get some super, super, super basic animations in there. They're not even that good. Look, look at that, he's just going to oh, get a shab in there. It'd be good to get some reference footage from this, maybe look at some movies of ancient warfare, I suppose. And we're just going to duplicate this a bunch of times in a little bit. Look at him, he's going to get a kick in there. What is this, Sparta? We're going to duplicate this a bunch of times and vary the animations a little bit just to have some more visual texture in there. And it'd even be better to duplicate it with a bunch of different weapons. You know, have the guy with maybe a spear or a mace and just, you know, get variations. Maybe a guy on a horse running through just so that it doesn't look like a repeating pattern over and over. Just duplicate this. I animated the red guy a lot better than the blue guy. And let's go back to normal speed. All right, we're back after that fun time-lapse adventure. Next we need to add all of these in together as one group, but before I do that I'm gonna duplicate one more, and this time I'm gonna switch the colors on them so that the red team's not all boss and beating them. So that they at least got one strong blue guy. Just select all these. Swap the color around. I'm assuming you know how to do this already if you're following this tutorial. So I'll just select that, assign. All right, now the blue guy's getting some kicks in. Might offset their time as well. Well, I guess I don't really need to. Obviously, the more time you spend on this, uh, the better it's going to be. Like, you could make these guys higher poly. Not much higher poly, though, because for one, you don't really need it because the camera's far away. The camera's far away, and so, like, you don't really need anything beyond video game style unless you're going to zoom all in like I did with the trailer. So for one, you don't need it, and for two, uh, I don't really have a second point. It's, you just don't need it. You don't need it. Okay, so all of these are not in a group, so I'm just going to select the meshes of them. You don't need the armatures. Just select the meshes and push Control G, and see how they got the green lat around them? Little green rim lat. Green silhouette, I guess is accurate term. Uh, if you go over to this cube panel, that means they're all together in a group. And over in the cube panel, you can see right there the name of the group. It added it all to the group called group. We could call this Fighters. All right, so now I'm going to move all of these to a different layer because we're going to set up our battle scene. So I'm going to add mesh plane, scale this up like crazy, well not too crazy, and then we're going to subdivide it because we're going to add some texture in here. Oh, it's jamming. This is probably going to jam quite a bit because I'm recording the screen at the same time as well as setting up a battle scene. And you know, it's gonna take like tons of computer power to do that because it's a battle scene, it's crazy. 
Lots of people fighting around. Okay. Still jamming, still jamming. Oh no! Um, I'm probably just gonna cut this out of the video, so I don't know how long it's gonna be, so you can just wait right here. Oh, it's back. We're back, so subdivide this to like 10, that's probably good. We're gonna select some of the faces and push the O key to select the offset, or what is Proportional editing. Proportional editing, that's what it's called. Fall off, so we'll just scroll out and add some uneven terrain, because we don't want this to just be like fighting on a flat piece of paper. What kind of a battle would that be? Well, I guess a lot of good battles are like that in movies, but... Make this all uneven, maybe select one and then select, go down to this and make it uh, random fall off so that as I move it uh, follows with it randomly to add some more roughness. There we go, that's a nice terrain. And so we got our battlefield, you can set that to smooth. And then over, with our battlefield selected, let's go over to the particle system and add a new. So we're going to use the hair emitter, and basically all of the objects are going to be set up as hairs. I think I explained that in the uh, beginning of this tutorial. I don't know, because I recorded it on a different day. <laughs> That's a secret, though. All right, we don't need it. Well, we can use a thousand. So with the object selected, we added a hair particle system, and we're going to go down to render. We'll want this to be advanced, by the way, because we need a few more settings. Uh, go down to render and it has none, path, object, or group. You want to select group. And then go down to the group and select our group, which is FIDAS. All right, and now the computer's going to slow down like crazy. Let me just turn this down, actually, to 500 or so. Not 50. That's a lame battle. Bring 50 of your best men. <laughs> We're going to fight out on the paper field. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. All right, so we need to fix the rotation on these guys because obviously, look at them, they're all fighting sideways, and that's no way to fight. Also, they're not moving when I'm pushing play. Why is that? There we go. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so the animated objects, I'm not sure why, but they need to be on the same layer as their particle systems for them to really work. Let me just select all of these and move it up. And so, if you look, if it's just this on a layer by itself, and I push play, nothing's going to happen. The objects are just frozen where they were, because I guess it's not animating on... Oh, that's probably why. It's not animating on this layer, it's not showing it in motion. 